everyone, Karen Glasser here, and welcome to Karen Glasser Live. I welcome guests from all across the globe who entertain us, wow us, and excite us. And today is no exception. So whether you're here live or on replay, doesn't matter. Make sure you say hi in the comments. Today's show is brought to you by Hasmark Publishing International, your number one co-publishing company in the world, who service authors on a global scale. Today, I welcome Andrew King to the show. He is the author of Cruising Alaska, A Visual Journey to Alaska. Andrew is a 25-year-old author from a town north of Toronto, Aurora, Ontario. As a struggling high school student during his younger years, he dealt with stress and anxiety, but was fortunate enough to have a teacher step up who helped turn his life around. He says she helped him become a better person overall and credits her for helping him graduate high school. He has two degrees in travel and tourism, as well as hospitality. After college, he traveled on cruise ships, my favorite way to travel, and explored the world and used his photography background to create great travel photos that are included in the book. So without further ado, we welcome Andrew. Hi. Hey, welcome to the show, Andrew. How are you today? Good. I'm, I'm thrilled that you're here today. Um, we're going to be talking about your book. And we're going to be talking about and what, looking at some of the photographs that you have in the book. And then we're going to send people to go buy your book because it is amazing. And it's launching in November. So it's just around the corner. The book is coming out. Really, it's very exciting. Yeah. Um, and so we're kind of like the first to, to preview this and to launch it. I'm very, very, very excited about this. So, Andrew, let's first talk a little bit. Um, about your education. You're quite accomplished. You have degrees, as we said, in travel, tourism, and hospitality. Tell us about that a little bit. Um, the degree in travel and tourism is from Toronto. I did that mm -hmm. education in Toronto and then did the hospitality degree out in Vancouver, British Columbia. So what made you look into that? What made you say, I want to get my education, my degrees in travel and tourism? Is it because you love cruising? It's because of loving just travel overall and seeing different places all over the world. Well, you did a beautiful job in the book. So let's just let's just jump in. Um, you told me that you love to cruise. So do I. I love to cruise. Why do you love to cruise? What is it about the ship? What is it about the activity of going on a cruise that you love so much? Uh, for me, it's all about being able to go see new places in the world get away from the stress of the everyday life that we have mm -hmm. and just being able to create new memories with cruising. Well, and you did that. You totally did that. So let's talk about your book. I want to pop your book up into the stream for a second so everybody can see it. It's called uh, Cruising Alaska, A Visual Journey to Alaska. So what's your book about? Uh, my book is all about seeing Alaska by cruise ship but kind of through my eyes instead of like through other tour guides or other people who do work in Alaska. And you're a photographer. And so you decided to go out and take photos of, of different places. I'm going to put some of your photos up on the screen and I'm going to ask you what your inspiration was with these photographs that you did. Um, the first one, where is this taken? Uh, in a, fjord up in Alaska that is just a beautiful scenic overall great area to see and travel down it's so quiet it's peaceful it's it's just a whole new experience yeah and I can tell and what I'm fascinated by is you were able to get not just the beautiful mountains and the water but the shadings in the water I mean you just did a beautiful job on this picture um, what about this one? This is in the book as well. Where is this from? Uh, Ketchikan, Alaska. It's a beautiful little town out in the out in the Alaskan kind of southern Alaska area. And as you can see, it's just a beautiful scenic area that you really don't want to miss seeing ever. So, Andrew, what time what time of year did you take these pictures? Because it, the the ocean is so blue and and the mountains are so green. What time of year did you take these? This would have to be between the months of May and late September. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. 
And I see uh, some eagles, I think, hiding in the trees up there. Yeah, the two American bald eagles just out during one of my excursions during one of them. And the two of them are just sitting up in that tree, just really perched up there and just an amazing sight to see. Absolutely. And were you surprised that you were able to get these into your photograph? Uh, it was a little bit surprising, but with kind of people pointing them out, it was easier to have a good shot like that. So here's another gorgeous, gorgeous photo. You can see snow still on the hills. Where is this? Uh, this is actually in the outside of uh, Juneau, Alaska area. And it's, this was a seaplane that took us up and, and it's a great experience to see all these glaciers and seeing these, the beautiful colors and everything from there. It makes me want to go right now. It makes me want to go right now though. This is an awesome, awesome picture. I'm assuming that that is part of an iceberg. Uh, it's actually part of a whole glacier. As you can see the, that between the green and the mountain there is that's a whole glacier right in the middle wow and you and, and it's and then the blue color that's within it, it looks like somebody took a big bite out of it it's gorgeous Be beautiful beautiful picture and here's the last one i want to share um where is this taken uh this is actually taken within uh the yukon territory of canada because it's one of the poor areas i talk about in my book it's actually like only about a couple hour drive into, and you can get into Canada through that way. And there's these beautiful hills on the way to a little town. Well, it's, they're absolutely beautiful. And I, you know, I'm not sure what came first, the photos or the book? Um, The photos and then just kind of went from there with it. Why did you decide, I mean, I know you like to cruise, but why did you decide to write a book about cruising Alaska? Is that your favorite place to cruise or, or? It was just more somewhere to start with more than uh, anything. So Andrew, are you, are you saying it here first and people are going to hear this? This is only the first book. You have others that are coming out. Yeah. There's other ones I'm going to be writing over time. Wonderful. And are they going to be these kind of books, travel books and, and using your photographs? Yes. Well, they're beautiful. You did an awesome job. Um, so you told me when I asked you when we first met, you know, when you wrote the book, you wanted you wanted um, to give people something to look forward to. Right. Yeah. After all of that we're, we're, we're living in right now. So mm -hmm. let's talk a little bit about that. Why, why is that so important to you? Um, well, I think it's the big thing is we're just, a lot of us are getting tired of sitting at home, seeing the same thing day in, day out. And when this is over, we're all going to need something to get away from all this craziness. Uh, agreed. Agreed. So what do you hope your readers are going to take away after reading your book? I mean, I know that people are going to rush out now and want to get this book for the photographs alone. I keep saying that because I'm so impressed by your talent. Um, what do you hope people after reading this book? Are you hoping that they're going to say, I need to go on a cruise or I need to go get a camera and start taking pictures just like Andrew? What is your hope that will happen? Um, I think the big thing is, is for people to want to go travel after all this and the other big thing of course is with traveling this these areas that i went to in alaska are only actually accessible by ship except for the one area but the rest uh -huh. you have to access by cruise ship so now that you've written your first book have you learned some skills and some things that you didn't know that will make your next book a little bit easier or it doesn't matter. I To me, it doesn't matter. But to me, like the big thing was this really brought me forward with bringing a talent that I didn't even know I had of writing. And, and partnering it with your photography. How long have you been doing photography? Oh, I've been doing photography since I was maybe seven years old. Wow. Wow. 
Wow. And and did you did did you realize you have this talent with the camera or it was just um, some you just not until I started doing the cruises. Interesting. Interesting. Um, let's talk about your, your writing process. You said that the pictures kind of came first and then you wrote a story around it. You wrote the travel around it. Mm -hmm. Do you just sit down with a, a notepad and you take your pencil out, your pen out, and you just start to write? Or do you do an outline? Uh, no, actually. Tell me how it you do more, it. It was more kind of taking the photos from each area and just kind of start writing and see what kind of fits and then kind of rearrange it as needed to make it sound better. Interesting. And so when you're when you're using the pictures and then writing around it, this is not fiction. This is nonfiction. This is actually a real place that you've been to. You're not actually writing a story. You're actually writing um, the information around this the going on a cruise and and the photographs and all of that. So it just flows. You're not. You don't sit down and first do an outline and then you come back later on and do a couple of words here and a couple of words there. It just flows. Yeah. Exactly. It just flows as I go with it. So you went to school, you have your degrees in, in tourism and in travel and in hospitality. Do you plan on using any of those skills as we move farther along? Are you, are you going to maybe be a travel um, advisor? Are you going to be a travel guide? What are you, you going to use any of those skills? Um, I would like to either be a person who sells cruises or actually work for a cruise line and which well, okay so i have to ask what's your favorite cruise line um i would have to say one of my top ones is uh royal caribbean me too me too i i i either it's either princess cruise or royal caribbean i think they one of them owns the other i think but uh, I, they're their own separate companies Oh, they're apt. Okay. So I like them both. I equal opportunity for both. I love to cruise. I have been all over the world cruising and it sounds like so have you. Where else have you gone? I've gone with uh, several other lines as well. And I've gone to across the Atlantic over to Europe. Wow. I've, tr I've cruised around Europe, like from Rome, going to like Malta, Greece. I've done cruises, of course, in the Caribbean cruises uh first cruise ever was to hawaii and a cruise in australia and new zealand wow i'm exhausted i'm totally exhausted right now and i i know i said why do you like to cruise but for me i like to cruise because i unpack once and then i get to go off the ship and then come back i never have to go in and out of hotels what is it that you like so much about cruising uh I think the big thing is just experiencing new areas and seeing new places and experiencing new lifestyles and seeing the way people live in all these different countries. And, and different food. Yeah. Yeah, definitely different food. Um, so did you have any challenges when you were writing this book? I guess it was just uh, sometimes just trying to keep focused at times. Cause like, you got other things going on in life. So it's like, you got to mm -hmm. sometimes try to find a way just to completely focus and just stick with it. Yeah. And I think that's an important message for those of you who are watching either live or on replay. This is, it's a matter of sticking to something is making a decision, right. And then just doing it. And that's what you have done, right? Yeah. So on a November 13th is when your book launches, right? Comes yeah. in, it'll be in the bookstore. We're going to put the link again into the comments so that you can go pick up your copy. How are you going to celebrate your book being published? I think just, of course, being around family and experiencing it with others. And I have to assume your family is really proud of you. Um, to be, yes. To be a published author, to be able to say, my name is Andrew King and I'm a published author. That's pretty impressive. And I, again, I want to thank Hasmark Publishing um, for introducing you to me and for being our sponsor and, and doing the show. Again, I want to put the book back into the uh, window. Um, and it's very easy to get a copy. You just click that link that's in the uh, comment area and you will be taken over to a page that you can purchase the book. I am sure that um, Andrew would be thrilled to hear that you picked up a copy of his book and you're wondering, how do I let Andrew know? 
Well, Andrew has an Instagram account at Cruise Picks by Kinger, which I absolutely love. And I am sure that if you send, if you go over to Instagram and you send a message over to Andrew and let him know that you have a picture of, you have the book, take a picture of you holding the book and send it in. I am sure Andrew will be thrilled. Am I right, Andrew? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I would love to, if I was a published author, I would love to know that uh, somebody bought my book and took a picture of it. The other way that you can get in touch with Andrew is to go to the hasmarkpublishing.com website because that is who publishes Andrew. Andrew's fortunate. There are lots of different ways to do, to write a book, but Andrew has a publisher, which is awesome. It happens to be Hasmark Publishing and they have helped him get this book out from the beginning. Is there any last minute comment from you, Andrew, or last minute thought that you wanna make sure that our viewers hear from you? Um, the big thing is, of course, if I didn't have those couple of teachers in high school, I don't know what position I would be in right now. Let's okay. You know what? Let's back up. Let's talk about that. Um, I, it's a very important, very important statement. I think that a lot of kids. I don't know what your challenges were when you were growing up in school, but it's fortunate you had teachers and you had adults that were there to help you. Um, did you ask for help, or they just they were just they saw it and they wanted to help you? Uh, it was kind of a mix of both because they noticed that, like, I was a student who didn't really like school at all very much because I think a lot of it had to deal with one of the schools I was in, It the teachers just didn't really have a good respect for helping students who are challenged with, mm -hmm. like, the learning type or just being able to help them without causing problems for them. So you're fortunate that you had somebody and some buddies, it wasn't just one that was able to help you along. Have you let them know that you have a public, that you have a book that's coming out? Yes, I have. I bet they're excited. And I, I think it's a credit to you, Andrew. Yeah, that, go ahead. Did you wanna say something? No, that was it. So I think it's a credit to you. I am sure that, um, to, to be able, the teachers to be able to look back and now to see you as a published author and to see your photography, um, I'm sure that they are pleased that they decided that they wanted to help you and, and help you succeed. And I am thrilled because you wouldn't be here with your book had that not happened. So thank you to the teachers and thank you for all the people along the way that have helped you get your, you know, help you get to the place that you're at right now and to have this book published. Again, if you are interested in picking up a copy of the book, it's sitting in the comments. If you would like to follow uh, Andrew on Instagram, you can follow him at Cruise Picks by Kinger. You can also go visit the website hasmarkpublishing.com to find out more about Andrew. And Andrew, I wanna thank you for sharing time with us today. Um, it, it's, it's always fun to have authors on and I see, and you, I know you're not in Myrtle beach, but you must no. like Myrtle beach, right? Yeah. I've gone there quite a few winters over the winter time. I bet <laughs> to get out of the cold. I bet. I bet. Um, I want to thank you for spending time for, with us today. And I want to thank our audience for spending time with us because you have a choice as to where you spend your time and you chose to spend it with Andrew and me today. And we want to thank you. We are very, very appreciative. So go out and give somebody an awesome day and we'll see you next time on the next Karen Glasser Live. Goodbye, everyone.